Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Sincerely at Stephanie, the place where I share some of the things that make me happy and spark my creativity. So right off the bat, I am going to announce a subscriber giveaway. Um, I still have the 500 subscriber giveaway going on, um, but I'm only halfway there or just about halfway there. Um, and for that 500 subscriber giveaway, if you don't remember, and I picked this up to bail it out in. So this will be part of the giveaway too. If you do not remember, um, I'm going to be giving away the uh, ColourPop It's So Very Lovely palette. And right now I have it in here and it's kind of in this, what it came in, the, the bubble wrap. And I'm going to mail it out in this um this cute little cosmetic case that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Um, and I will be giving that out away when I reach 500 subscribers. And if you um, are interested in that giveaway, I will try and post a link to it right up here. Um, but this giveaway is going to be an Easter giveaway because I just couldn't wait till I got to 500 subscribers to kind of share the things that I was finding. Um, so this giveaway, let me show you what I found and decided to give away. And I'm going to be giving away two sets of these. They're going to be two winners, basically. These little gnomes. Yes, I found these adorable little gnomes. Um, and... You know, last year it was fairly difficult to find the rabbits. So I was assuming that it would be sort of difficult this year, um, be that these are new for the year to find these adorable little gnomes. Um, so I decided to give these away. Now, if you are related to me, please do not enter this uh, giveaway because I do have a trio for you. Um, but here's the pink. And it's got the stripes and the little wavy lines and our little pink ears. And like a lot of people have been saying, these are a little more flat and not as stuffed as the others. Um, but you can either try and, you know, open it up and fill some more. But these, mine are standing up. I know some people have complained that theirs aren't standing up. But mine, the ones I picked up are standing up. You just have to kind of get that um, the beanie bag material kind of weighted really well. But here's the pink one. Then there is the lavender one with the cute little Swiss dots and, of course, the um, pink ears. And the blue one. And this one is just the stripes and the pink ears. So... Here is the trio. I just think they're so adorable. Okay, so the instructions on this giveaway are as follows. Number one, you must be subscribed to my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe below. Um, the second rule is that you need to give this video a big thumbs up because this will really help this video and my channel as well. Um, number three, I am going to request for these early um, giveaways because my channel is so small that you live in the U.S. Um, because I'm going to be shipping these out um, flat rate priority mail. Um, so it will go as a flat rate to any of the 50 states. But um, overseas and out of the country could be quite expensive. So I really don't need any of those surprises right now. Um, number four, I want you to comment below. Comment Easter Gnomies. And that's G-N-O-M-I-E-S. Easter Gnomies. Um, and I'm going to be using commentpicker.com to select the two winners um, of this giveaway. And I am going to be doing the giveaway more than likely on Friday the 18th. Um, today, this Dollar Tree haul will be airing on um, the 10th. 
and I will have another Dollar Tree haul that will air on the 17th. So that kind of gives a whole seven days in between, and I figured if I did the giveaway seven to 10 days, so expect it to be on Friday um, the 18th, and um, I will put up a special video and then have you contact me. Um, if you win the giveaway, I'll have you contact me through the email that I provide. Um, so I am super excited about that. I'm also trying to get some items at, for a spring giveaway. Um, and I have some, I've already picked up some items um, and I have some items in mind that I want to go with it. So the spring giveaway is pending if I do find those items. And I'm not going to say what they are yet, but if I do find the items that I was wanting to put into that giveaway, I will be doing kind of a spring giveaway as well as my 500 subscriber giveaway when I reach the 500 subscribers. And again, if you are interested in the 500 subscriber giveaway, I I will try and put a link to it up here so you can um, watch that video. Um, okay, so on to the Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to film this. I have not been feeling very well, and so I don't look... <laughs> I don't look the greatest, but um, I'm going to try and get through most of this Dollar Tree haul, and it is so large that I don't know how many episodes I'm going to have to split this up, if at all. So um, let's just get right on into it and see what I found at the Dollar Tree. And some of the items I'm going to be letting you know um, from now on where I find them, um, some of the stores that I'm shopping at, because I have found some really great stores. And if you live in the North Georgia area, you might absolutely want to check those out. The first item I'm starting off with is the this bird feed, this high energy. I believe people have pronounced this suet because I always want to say it's a sweet, but it's not spelled sweet. Um, now, I believe I did pay a dollar for this. Um, currently, I did pick two up um, because I have some birds that are nesting in... Um, one of my birdhouses, as well as I see birds quite often um, out front. And my granddaughter and I, when she was here a couple weeks ago, we made some um, pine cones with what we had to make them with was just sunflower seeds. So I wanted to get the birds some bird seed, and I did pick up a couple bird feeders, and we're going to be setting those up, and I'll get some other bird seed. But um, I just want to let y'all know that my husband actually found this cheaper at Walmart. He said he found this in clearance. I'm not sure why it was in clearance, but at our Walmart, it was a lot cheaper than the dollar. I want to say... It was either 25 or 75 cents, which is a lot better deal than um, what it is at the Dollar Tree. So, um, check out your local Walmart if you're looking for a better deal. Um, if not, you know, Dollar Tree is always very convenient. And I think I paid a dollar and not a dollar 25 because these do say a dollar. And that $2.99 price is actually marked out. So, this is saying they're a dollar. I didn't check my receipt. Um, it, but I do know that some of the Dollar Tree items are still selling for a dollar. So that's enough about my bird seed. Okay. So other Easter items I found, I picked up these two signs. I do have an ongoing kind of, uh, wish list and some of the newer items. This is one of the, uh, or two actually, two of the newer items. Um, some of the newer items are still eluding me. My stores still haven't had those yet. Um, but I found these at a Dollar Tree in Dawsonville. Um, it was the one that is closest to the North Georgia Premium Outlets. Um, there's um, a home store, I can't remember the name of it, and a um, 
another place next to it where you work out, you know, a gym. So, yeah. So, there are several uh, Dollar Trees around the uh, Dawsonville area, and this is the one I found it at. Um, in addition to that, I do want to say that this store, if you live around the Dawsonville area, um, this store was really nice. Um, it had some items in there. The, the Crafter Square items were really stocked really nicely. So if you're interested in seeing all of those um, vinyls, they had a huge selection of those vinyls. They were all hanging. Um, that's the first Dollar Tree store that I've seen all of the vinyls and I've seen them all hanging. Um, I've been in one, including the very large one that I talked about here recently that I found. Um, they have a few hanging, but they'll have some down in boxes, and they won't have all the available um, vinyls. But this store had them all, so if you're interested in things like that, you should check out that store. Um, and I will find the address and link it down below um, for anyone who's interested. Okay, back to my haul. I'm already, you know, about 10 minutes into this. And I found these two signs at the Dawsonville store. And this one has the rabbit and the carrots. And I'm definitely going to be using this to decorate the area around my rabbit's house and enclosure. And it says, Hippity Hops Carrot Patch, 25 cents, organic, locally grown. And even if you don't have a rabbit, this is super cute for kind of spring and early summer decor. Now, this one is just pretty much in my opinion Easter and this is Cottontail Company Easter Egg Farm fill your basket open daily. Now what I didn't realize is that there were three different prints. There was one with um, the I think it was a teal truck a teal or a blue truck and it was also a carrot patch so I'm going to be on the lookout for that one because that sign as well as this one um, would be perfect for Houdini's little play area okay so also at the same Dawsonville store I found more of these Make It Blocks people. And these, I'm pretty sure, are the Make It Blocks people that had come out at my store right before Christmas that I missed out on. And I I think I got eight of them, and I will show you. Um, but we don't have any of these. We don't have any of these people. So um, the sets of people that we have are completely different from these. Okay, so these are the Monster Truckers. If you can get a good, let's see, a good look at the Monster Truckers. And they've got their helmets on, and it looks like there's a mechanic. Okay, and some of these are just really good. Um, now, this one is the Mountaineer set. And I love the girl with her ponytail, and I'm not sure if this is a girl on the end. Let me see. It certainly looks like it because she's got red lips, but she has a she has a hard hat on. But the one with the pink shirt right here um, is a girl. This is one of my favorites right here. Look at these pirates. Look at the one in the middle. I love these pirates. And the monsters. I love this set of monsters. And I believe there are two sets of monsters. Let me find the other set of monsters. Yes. And they are absolutely different. So look at this set of monsters. You can see the Wicked Witch right here in the corner. She is a witch. She has a witch's hat on. So, here are the two sets together to compare. So, those are the monsters. We have a set of sports players. 
we have these. I also love these. Okay, so these are the wizards, and right here, here's the the wizard. In the center, he's got his wizard hat on. And we have a set of superheroes. Look at those superheroes. And we have the Coast Guard. So you know, my husband was like, why are you getting so many? And I just think these are fun to collect and put with the huge collection of Legos that had belonged to my husband and my uh, youngest son. And these will be great for future grandkids, not just my granddaughter, because I'm hoping to have more in the future. But, and she loves these, this type of things. We create her road and set up little houses. And um, if you've seen some of my other Dollar Tree hauls, I have, you know, a police station, a fire station. Well, we set up a whole little town and, you know, have her little um, vehicles that drive around the the town. So uh, that's, that's pretty fun. I picked up the um, Create Your Own Ornaments, the carrots, and there's eight count. I know in my previous hauls that I had shown you that I picked up the chicks and the rabbits um, and I didn't find the carrots, but this time I did. So I picked up the carrots. I am adding to my personal summer time um, fairy gnome village. I gave an entire one of these. This is the Beachy Keen, I believe. When I gave an entire one of the, these to my granddaughter and I am picking these up little by little at the store. But I love these characters here, the lobster, the seashell, and the seagull. Here we had the seahorse and the treasure chest. I thought was really cute. And these little gnomes, look at how unique they are. I love these little gnomes. I think they are by far my favorite gnomes that um, that Dollar Tree has done in their fairy garden sets. I did pick up one of these white Easter rabbits. Um, the brown one seems to be very popular this year and I haven't seen it yet in the stores, but I have seen plenty of these white ones. Now, I was able to find one, just one last year. And so I did get my hands on that and it is, again, decor for my Rabbit Houdini's um, enclosure. Um, but this year I picked up another white one and if I find a brown one, I will pick it up, but I've been unable to find that one. But let me show you the difference in the stuffing. See how this is stuffed really well. Now, here's our little gnomes. See how flat, I mean, you can definitely even just feel how firm this one is and how, but these are absolutely, absolutely adorable. So, the, the lack of stuffing, it doesn't bother me. This year, they have these basket buddies. And I picked this up at that Dawsonville store. And when I went into the store, they didn't have a single buggy available. And so I had to get a, um, I had to get a basket knowing that it probably wasn't gonna be big enough for me. So I kind of hung out right on the first aisle by where the registers were to see if somebody was gonna deposit their buggy. And my husband, he wasn't having any of it. He wasn't gonna help me. He just walked off into the back of the store. Um, he was not gonna help me get a buggy. Um, so I was kind of preoccupied at the time with trying to get a buggy. Um, and that's the reason I didn't realize that there is a, another one of these and it's a shark. Um, but when I got these home, I was like, I can't believe that I did not 
get more of these um, for crafting because I want you to see this. Actually, let me just open this because I think these are excellent felt pre-cut felt pieces for crafting. Um, and for a dollar twenty-five, um, I, I have two. I have the Cricut Joy and the Cricut Maker. And even though you know you can cut out felt pieces, um, you know you'd have to purchase different. Um, this is a good quality felt, to be quite honest with you. This is not cheap felt right here. So you would have to purchase different colors of felt. So we have this little piece of greenery. Um, and we do have some stickers and some little flowers here. I think these are just, these little flowers are just cardboard. I was thinking they were more... Um, I was thinking these were more like, I guess, sticker-like, but they're not. But still, um, now these are sticker-like. These are the sticker pieces, the eyes, the tail, um, and the ear pieces. Um, and these are cardboard. But I think these little pieces were well worth $1.25. And I wish I had picked up a couple more of these, um, to use in crafting. Something else I picked up, and I've seen them at multiple stores, um, but the one I actually want, I think is the most popular. And it's, again, I don't mean to continually repeat myself about decorating my rabbit's cage, um, but it is just carrots. So I think it would be appropriate for that. But um, it's it says something about carrots, again, like the 25 cent carrots, I can't remember, but, um, I haven't found it in any of the stores I went to, but this one says treats for my peeps. And you can see there's a little bit of glitter on the little peeps. And this is just so cute. And now one thing I do notice, and I'm gonna have to check my bag. And if I can't find them in my bag, um, I have some other ones that I'll just take off. But you see right here, this glue um, <laughs> the little metal piece that was glued onto the top because it did have one is missing. And I would say I'm probably just going to find that down in the bag somewhere. I just had pulled these out to show you. Since next weekend is, um, St. Patrick's Day, I had really been turned on to an idea by another Dollar Tree hauler. Um, and she had picked up some items for her daughter. Actually, it's Sea Panda Crafts. Um, and she had picked up some items for her daughter to create a leprechaun trap. And I was like, what is this? How to catch a leprechaun, leprechaun trap kind of thing. Um, what is it? When did it start? Because, um, my youngest child, she turned 24 just a few weeks back. And so when my kids were little, the Elf on the Shelf wasn't even something that was popular. That was something that was popular um, with my nephews um, who are around 17, 18 years old. So, um, and then their oldest brother is, is he 20, I believe. Are going to be 20 this year so yeah so my kids kind of missed the um, elf on the shelf so I wanted to know what this leprechaun trap this catch a leprechaun thing was and so I looked it up online and I found this book which is not a Dollar Tree book um, but I really thought this would be great activity for her, which is how to um, build a leprechaun trap. And this is actually um, full of ideas for age appropriate building of the leprechaun trap. And this is great for teachers and homeschoolers and things like that. And then I purchased her this book, How to Trap a Leprechaun. 
with the discussion of the leprechaun trap, um, I started kind of brainstorming for ideas and looking um, at a few items that I did pick up last year for the um, St. Patty's Day because I had intended on starting to decorate and I only have a few things and I pretty much changed my mind. I would like to find her some coins that I did pick this up for her. This little um, crown. I thought this would be fun um, for her to kind of wear while she was creating her leprechaun trap, going to check her leprechaun trap. Um, I just hope that I have the opportunity to get these items to her so that she can do this activity um, before next weekend because like I said my eyes are watering I've had to like delete clips from this video because I'm sneezing coughing I have issues going on with my ears but anyway I'm sorry I just um, I like to talk a lot but yeah I had heard this from last year so I did find this in my stash from last year as well so and this I did pick up um, for this year but anyway I did just want to I was so excited when I started researching this idea of um, catching a leprechaun so I kind of just wanted to throw it out there um, for those of you who also like myself didn't know um, that there was an activity, a fun activity around um, St. Patrick's Day about catching a leprechaun by setting up a trap. Okay, so let's go back to the hall. I really, really hit the jackpot when I found all of these Dollar Tree sunglasses and I did not limit myself. No, not one bit. Not for a dollar twenty-five. Um, I got one of each one that I liked. Um, and the ones that I got still don't equal the price of a pair of sunglasses that you might find at Ross, Marshalls, or um Walmart, you know, I would typically be paying between 12 and $15 for um, an inexpensive pair of sunglasses. And I have actually um, never worn glasses. <laughs> so I have a difficult time keeping up with my sunglasses. Also just kind of taking care of them. And several years ago, I was really irritated because I would ruin my pair of $15 sunglasses. So I really just started wearing Dollar Tree sunglasses because I would break them, lose them, scratch them, um, you name it. Um, and um, for the past few months, I've started experiencing some vision changes where um, I'm needing some reading glasses. So I picked up some Dollar Tree reading glasses because I haven't been to the eye doctor yet, but that's she's probably just going to recommend reading glasses because that's all I need them for. And that's actually all my husband goes on a regular basis. And, um, for the past several years, that's all he has needed is just, she gives him the prescription that of reading glasses that he needs. And he just purchases reading glasses. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I kind of digress on that one. So Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree just with their sunglasses this year because they've got some really great styles. Okay, so check these out. <laughs> these are kind of a tortoise shell. But look at these things. Yes, these are big, fashionable, so fashionable. That's what I feel like in these. And I think these come, do these come in different colors? Maybe this, Okay, so this pair, I also have this pair in this black right here. Okay, so this pair came in a solid black. I'm going to take this off before I try it on. So they had this black. I just feel so, you know, 
I'm on vacation and these, <laughs> but you know, a dollar 25, I just, these are great and they're so fun. So fun. Some of these wait until you see them. Okay. So I'm going to show you my favorite pair. These, these heart shaped cat eyes. You guys would not believe the mess of Dollar Tree stuff I have just surrounding me right now. I love these. These, if you know me, these look so Stephanie. I just, I just love these cat eye sunglasses. If I have to have glasses, I might have to have some, some cat eye glasses. Okay, so this is the only, only color in this um, heart-shaped cat eye. I really, really loved these. Some of these, when I, I, I'm looking at them, some of the lenses are slightly scratched, but some of, in the case of a few of these, they were the only, only ones that they had. So I got this in this beautiful blush pink check these out. <laughs> I loved these. Love these. Love them. I feel like, do I have this style in, or is this the same style as the black? I, yeah, okay. This, is this the same style? Yes. So, they're actually in three colors. So, we have this blush, we have the black, and we have the tortoise shell style colors in that style. So there were three. Okay, so now I have these, which are kind of like a very cream, almost a yellow color. Oh, I love these. Don't they just seem so, so retro? These almost give me a 70s kind of vibe to them, but I just love these. Um, okay, and so this pair comes in another color, which is actually this black. So the black will kind of go with more things. That we have this, you know. Um, <laughs> I've got two others. These are great too. Actually, three other pair. Okay, check these out. These are a tortoise shell. Look at this it's cat eye. Look, love it. I love that. And these, these were like true, true cat eye for sure. Definitely. Definitely. Yes. And this pair in this white. Now, I did try these on previous to this haul. <laughs> and I don't know how much I'll be wearing this pair. Um, basically, when I saw them, it didn't give me this vibe. But this is the vibe that it gives me. And you can tell me if it gives you this vibe too. Um... You remember the glasses that we had to wear when you watch like the 3D or 4D movies, you know, that's what these remind me of. Is that what they remind you of? Like, you know, I remember they used to just come in, you know, like cardboard, but the overall shape of these, that's what this reminds me of. So like 1980s, you know, I've got a, I've, I've got a kind of a 1960s 
50s, 60s, 70s vibe going on with a lot of these. And then this one's like, yep, we're going to the 80s. But anyway, <laughs> so yes, how many did I get? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, so it looks like I got a nine pair of sunglasses for a dollar twenty-five each. So I really think that that is really fabulous because, like I said, I had added it up in my head, and I was like, heck. I won't even pay this much for one pair of sunglasses if I get, say, if I go to Ross and buy a pair of Jessica Simpson glasses, or if I go over to Kohl's and I purchase some Lauren Conrad sunglasses, because Lauren Conrad sunglasses are, some of those are fun. I really hope that y'all enjoyed part one of an amazing Dollar Tree haul. Don't forget about this Easter giveaway. If you're interested, leave a comment below, um, Easter Nomies, and I will see y'all in the next one. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye.